Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2021, this is the solution video to question 8. So question 8 in section B is another functions and calculus question. Uh, the table in part A2 below shows some of the values of the function, here's the function, in the domain 0 to 75. Use h of 10 equal to 30 to show that p is equal to 3.6. There's the table there, we'll be dealing with that in a minute. But the first bit is to just do h of 10 equal to 30 to find this value here, p is equal to 3.6. So the h of 10 is equal to 0 0.001 times 10 cubed minus 0 0.12 times 10 squared plus p times 10 plus 5 and that should be equal to 30. So what we have here, 0 0.001 times 10 cubed, that's equal to 1, minus 10 squared is 100, times 0 0.12 is 12, plus 10p plus 5 is equal to 30. So 10p is equal to 30, minus 5, plus 12, minus 1. So p is equal to, that's equal to 36 over 10 which is equal to 3.6, which is what was required. Part two, complete the table below and hence draw the graph of the function h of x in the domain x between zero and 7, 75 on the grid below. For this, you're gonna use your calculator. So I'm gonna go through how to do it on your calculator here. So we have to put it in functions mode. So we press setup and go across to table and press equals. So now we have to type in our function. So our function is 0 0.001 alpha x, and that's cubed, minus 0 0.12 alpha x squared, plus 3.6 alpha x plus 5. So that's our function. We don't want a g of x function, just one function is enough. We're gonna start at zero. We're gonna end, zero press equals. We're gonna end at 70. We don't need to go up to 75 because 75 is in the table there. We're gonna end at 70. And our steps, press equals, our steps, we're gonna go up in tens. And this gives us all we need to know here. So when x is zero, f of x is five. Then we have 10 and 30, which is there. Then we have 20 and 37. Then we have 30 and 32. We can scroll down. down. We have 40 and 21, that's already there. We have 50 and 10. 60 and five should be there, it is. And then 70 and 12 is our last one. And then for 75, it's already done. Then we want to draw it into the table below. So I've already, sketched it in pencil but just to show you so zero five there it is uh, 10 30 20 37 30 32 40 21 10 50 or sorry 50 10 uh, 65 70 12 and then 75 and 21.875 approximately there and your curve will look something like this. Now, of course, you should draw this in pen, pencil. Um, I'm drawing it in pen, so it comes out clearer on the video, but you can see the smudges there with the pen. You don't want to do that in your actual exam. On to part B over here. So part B, the function of h of x can be used to model the height above level ground in meters of a section of the path followed by a roller coaster track where x is the horizontal diff distance from a fixed point. Find h prime of x, the derivative of h of x. So we just need to differentiate h of x. So h of x is equal to 0 0.001x cubed minus 0 0.12x squared plus 3.6x plus 5. So to differentiate that, h prime of x is equal to 3 by that, so 0.003x squared minus 2 by 0 0.12 is 0.24x and then plus 3.6. That's the derivative of h prime. 
show that this section of the track reaches its maximum height above level ground when x is equal to 20. So to do this, what we do is we let the derivative equal to zero. So let this here equal to zero, 0 0.003x squared minus 0.24x plus 3.6 is equal to zero. You can go ahead and use the minus b formula or you can maybe multiply by uh, a thousand and see if you can factorize it then, that might be fine. You might be able to simplify it as well. But I'm just going to use the minus b formula. So minus minus 0 0.24 plus and minus the square root of b squared. So minus 0 0.24 squared minus 4 times a, which is 0 0.003 times c, which is 3.6 all over 2a. So 2 times 0 0.003. And you get two answers there in your calculator. I'll let you do that yourself. You get x is equal to 60 and you get x is equal to 20. So we're going to test out 20 here. So we have a max when h double prime of x is less than 0. So if we differentiate again and let it less than 0 when we have x equal to 20, we should show that it's a, a maximum then. So let's differentiate again. H double prime of x is equal to 2 by 0 0.003, 0 0.006x, and then minus 0 0.24. We're going to find the h double prime of 20, which is equal to 0 0.006 times 20 minus 0 0.24 and that works out to be equal to minus 0 0.12 and that means we have a max there at x equal to 20. Okay on to the next part then find using calculus the height above ground in meters at the instant the track passes through an inflection point the function is given to us again just to remind us here because it was on the previous page. So an inflection point at an inflection point we know that the second derivative x or f double dash of x is equal to zero. So I'm going to let the second derivative equal to zero. 0 0.006x minus 0 0.24 is equal to zero and then just solve for x. So x is equal to 0 0.24 over 0 0.006. x is equal to 40. So then we want to find the height that it is at x equal to 40. So we find the h of 40. So back into our original function. So that's equal to 0 0.001 times 40 cubed minus 0 0.12 times 40 squared plus 3.6 times 40 plus 5 and into your calculator with all that stuff there and you get 21 meters so the height above the ground at the point of inflection which is x equal to 40 is 21 meters and the last bit then so our first bit of integration in this test is use the function h of x is equal to that, so the same function again, to find the average height of this section of the track above ground level from 0 to 75. Give your answers in meters correct to two decimal place. So we're going to use the average value formula. So that's 1 over 75 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 75 of our function 0.001x cubed minus 0.12x squared plus 3.6x plus 5dx. So we need to integrate this. So that's 1 over 75 times. Integrate this. So it'll be 0 0.001 x to the power of 4 over 4, 0 0.001 x to the power of 4 over 4, 
minus 0 0.12 x cubed over 3 plus 3.6 x squared over 2 plus 5 x and that's evaluated between 0 and 75. So that would be equal to 1 over 75 times. Now, first of all, we sub in 75. So that would be 0 0.001 times 75 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 0 0.12 times 75 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 3.6 times 75 squared over 2 plus 5 times 75 and then that'll be minus all of this when we sub in 0 but you can see that all of them will just be 0 so it's just minus 0 we don't need to go and do it again so that's equal to 1 over 75 times all of this here you can throw it into your calculator see what you get hopefully you should get 49,125 over 32 Multiply it by 1 over 75, you get 20.47 metres, correct, two decimal places. So the average height of the roller coaster between 0 and 75 is 20.47 metres. Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.